Simplify the following expression completely. Square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 5 and all of that in parentheses squared. So make sure that you're putting all of that twice and you're going to end up needing to use the FOIL method. So it ends up looking like this. All right, and so using the FOIL method, we're going to take square root of 3 times square root of 3. Well, that just gives us 3. And then square root of 3 times 2 square root of 5. Well, 3 times square root of, well, 2 times 1. There's a 1 outside of that square root of 3. Well, that equals 2. And then square root of 3 times square root of 5 is square root of 15. So 2 square root of 15. And then we go on the inside, 2 square root of 5 times square root of 3 gives us another 2 square root of 15. And then we take 2 square root of 5 times 2 square root of 5, and that gives us 4 times the square root of 25. All right, let me switch colors here. Let's look at this. The 3 stays the same. Can we combine these here? Sure we can. So plus 4 square root of 15. And then how about this one here? Well, the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 4 times 5 there. So now we have 3 plus 4 times the square root of 15 plus 20. Is there anything else that can be combined? Yes, we have the 3 here and the 20 over here, so that makes 23 plus 4 square root of 15, which is D.